big bruise was a giveaway. Yeah, well, she deserved it. I mean, throwing out dinner across the room like some fucking lunatic. I had to do something to calm her down. And anyway, spare me the moral lecture, eh? What do you know about marriage? You don't know anything about me. Why now you ran away from your perfect boyfriend because he made a mistake of wanting to marry you. Don't you dare talk about Michael. I don't know, you bail out of your stressful little job. You come here and you think you're in a position to judge me and my wife. What do you do for a living now? I manage the allotments on the estate and do debugs from here. Korea. India mostly. I don't really need more money. I'm sorry to interrupt the interview, but it's time for my run. Put your muzzle to the ground. I will walk to you, we can swap. You will just run away. Run? We are in a minefield. Why would you trade now? Will you sing Nozzy Lamb better? Could you sink lead the mines? Oh, but I'm faxing somebody's telly just now. Aye. Yeah, I know it's your party. And I'll be there as soon as I'm done, I promise. Promise. Listen, do you think you could put your mummy on the phone a minute? Eh? Yeah, I love you too, sweetheart, and I'll be there as soon as I can. You stupid bitch. Why do you have to go fill that head with that kind of crap for, huh? I used to dance to this song. With my girl. We all did. That's why they're playing it. Gentlemen of the First Airborne Division, just wave your white handkerchief and come on over. Gentlemen, what we do here right now is the badge that we will carry for the rest of our lives. However long that may be. Not very long, so it's. What do you want that badge to be? No surrender. Mac. So who was that then? Lover Girl or Munta 219? It's her. What do I do? She wants another chance. Ask her what underwear she's wearing. No. Well, I don't know. Ask her to meet you in the library or wherever it is you nerds hang out. But make sure you get her bloody number this time, eh?